Hi everyone! Today we will make an object for Varwin platform out of a standard Unity object. We'll create a button which we will be able to press and release and connect it to Blockly. Here we have an elementary Unity prefab with model of a button and a simple animator which switches the state of the button on and off. To create a platform object from it, select it and go to Varwin SDK, Create, Object. A window will open where you can enter all the required data. Object name in English. The name can't contain any special characters because classes for the objects will be created out of it. Name of the object for display in Varwin RMS and Blockly. Information about the author of the object. If you are going to distribute your object, select one of the available licenses. Drag the prototype game object into game object field. In our case, the object is already here because we have selected it earlier. It's time to click Create. Soon, the new object will appear in the Objects folder. Sources for all objects ought to be stored in this directory, one object for each subdirectory. The Objects folder contains the object prefab with necessary scripts, assembly definition for building .dll with object code, and main script of the object. First, we need to alter the object prefab. Let's add rigid body and make it kinematic, so that the button won't be affected by gravity, but will be able to interact with the user's controllers. Also, let's add box collider and make it a trigger. We need it so that the button could be pressed and carried around. These interactions happen through colliders. Therefore, all the platform objects must have rigid body and some collider. Now we can add interactable object behavior. It is a simple script which implements basic interactions between user and object in view mode. For instance, grab, capability to take the object and carry it. Use, capability to use the object with the help of trigger button of a controller. Touch, capability to touch the object with a controller. We don't need to carry the button or touch it, so we untick these settings, leaving out only is usable. There are also events in this script to which we can subscribe. These events are invoked by each of the actions. In our case, we'll subscribe to onUseStartedEvent, which is invoked by pressing trigger button, and we'll call the function that will be described in our type script. Make sure all changes are saved and proceed to code editing. The main script of the object is a mono behavior. It is inherited from Varwin object class. An object can have only one such script. As you can see, this is where you set the name of the object along with all its localizations, in this case, in English and Russian, to be displayed in Blockly. Create private variable, animator. It will refer to the animator inside the object. Let's get it in start via get component. Let's also create bool variable is pressed, which will store the state of the button, namely, if it is pressed or released. Now we create change state function, which will change the state of the button. To do it, assign to the is pressed variable a value opposite to the current one and assign the animator with a parameter responsible for the state of animation. Save the script and get back to Unity. Now we have to make sure that this particular function is executed when the object is used. Open interactable object behavior event list. Find on you started and click on the plus sign. Drag the object itself into the event window that will open and in the function list choose tutorial button type, change state, that very function we've just created. Thus the inner logic of the object is ready and all left to do is to connect it with Blockly. Let's open object class code again. All our variables and functions are connected with Blockly with the help of attributes. For instance, now we need checker attribute. It creates blue logic block which transmits true or false value. A line inside the brackets is the block ID which we can create ourselves. Set the name of the object for display in Varwin RMS and blockly inside locale attribute. The function which returns bool must be the checker. Inside the function, we just return public field is pressed. Let's get back to Unity, check that everything is saved in the prefab, and click Build button on the object. After a while, it will build, and we'll get a VWO file. It's an extension for Varwin object files. 
Add the object to Varwin Library and check your new button in a test project.